Okay, my friends, thank you for joining me today for our final podcast of the season. Oh, it's a bit sad. Uh, you know, I hope that you guys, after six months of watching this podcast, uh, you have been blessed. And today Amen. is the final uh, yes. episode for this season. Unless uh, Amos or Pastor Siu Chai, you know, is willing to, to do more, you know, we shall have more of them. Shall four, we? Shall no? More of Pastor Edwin. Yes, amen. Three, four, I mean. <laughs> anyway, uh, my friends, today our mm. scripture passage is taken from Proverbs chapter 3. Yeah. Um, I wonder if you have already read it, especially those uh, tuning in. Yes. But uh, for those of us here, you know, we have already read this very familiar proverb. So, you know, it's good to just hear your thoughts on it and mm. how has it been for you. Uh, in the reading of you know not only the dual program but I mean the dual Bible reading plan but also Proverbs chapter three, any thoughts any insights? I must say for myself, uh, Proverbs three I mean the familiar verses five to six uh, really always uh, stood out for me. It's um it's something that I hold very close to my heart. Mm. Yeah, always reminding myself what it means to to trust in the Lord, uh, and with everything, yeah, and not to lean on my own understanding. Yeah, so this is something that is like mm. a, I would say, uh, verses that uh, means a lot to me as I seek to walk faithfully with the Lord. Yeah. But I think something that perhaps uh, for some of us who are very familiar with, especially these two verses, verses 5 to 6, we may miss out on verse 7. Mm. And so let me read that to us. It says, Be not wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord, and turn away from evil. I think uh, a lot of times it's, we often quote from verses 5 and 6. Yeah, but actually this verse is uh, closely linked to everything that has been said. Mm, mm, yeah. And yeah. I think the church, we have been talking a lot about fearing God. Mm. So I think this really ties in very well also. What it means for us to fear God. And the picture is really this, to trust in the Lord with all our hearts. Yeah. So again, I just want to make that connection. Mm. Yeah. I think fearing God, trusting in God, will help us to, mm. to really live the life, uh, that the, the full life that God wants for us. Yeah, so that's um, yeah, my immediate uh, thought. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think you're right. Uh, we cannot read uh, verses 5 and 6 in isolation to the verses before and after. And, and one of the things that mm. also caught my <coughs> eye is verse 8. It will be health mm. to your flesh. Amen. Uh, you know, you bring health and nourishment to your bones, depending on which version you read. Yeah. And it's very interesting. How is trusting the Lord, you know, end up equals, mm. you know, getting this health benefit? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and when I was looking at this, trusting in the Lord seriously is resting in Him. And when you mm. rest in Him, and you, you have the assurance that He is there with you, you tend to be less nervous. Mm. You don't worry as much, even though sometimes we do worry. But the assurance is God is with us. And I believe that will bring us the joy and the peace yeah. we need. And then that is health. I mean, today, if you talk about people, you know, why are they struggling? People say, well, because it's very stressful. I don't know what to do and things like that. So, so to me, I think there's a lot of wisdom in this. But one of the things that, you know, the verse that you quoted is the verse that a lot of people will only think of uh, when it comes to Proverbs chapter 3 is the verses 5 and 6. But there's also something that um, I was thinking about and that has to do with, you know, in the book of James, if anyone lacks wisdom, you pray, God will grant you wisdom. So if God is to grant us wisdom and here it says, do not be wise in your own eyes, but to trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. Sometimes as we read verses like this, we may feel that there is a contradiction. Yep. Mm. But I think at the end of the day, it didn't say you cannot lean on your uh, what you know. But I think what it's trying to tell us here is you don't lean on your own understanding because your own understanding means God is not in the equation. Mm. And I think there is a place that yeah. you know the Lord has given us wisdom to know what to do, and we can trust Him. And you know through the Holy Spirit, we do get wisdom and discernment as well. Yeah. So you know, so just some of these nuggets that you know yeah. as we look at it, um, it just jumps up at, at you. And I hope that for those of you, you, are, you know, sometimes when you uh, read this, uh, don't think that God is only revealing to your pastors or the, the, the full time, but, you know, ask God to just open your eyes and certain things will pop out and, you know, you will see it. Yeah. Amos, any thoughts from you? Uh, you know that there are, there are about 35 verses in, the, in Proverbs, it's long. And uh, I thought that the theme, <coughs> we must focus on wisdom as well, what mm. the pastor, uh, I would, uh, Edwin was talking about <laughs> in terms of the 
uh, you know, God's word, you know, wisdom. Mm. Mm. And uh, I was wondering how it links to um, the focus of trusting the Lord. And I think that uh, when I thought about the four essentials that the church is trust, we were trying to emphasize on, right? Um, basically, I think that knowing God, you know, uh, knowing God's word, mm. getting wisdom uh, from God, uh, it's so essential in ability for us to trust God. Mm. Because I think that the, the, the more we know God, right, uh, the better we can trust Him. I mean, it's quite difficult to trust a stranger, mm. right? When you see a stranger, it's just out of the blue. It's very yes. difficult to trust. Only when I know the person well enough, it's easier uh, mm. for me to trust that person. So if I think, if we can get deeper and know more about God, mm. I think, you know, it's, to me, it's much more easier uh, to trust Him. And mm. even the challenge of right, trusting Him, uh, you know, uh, in all the way, with all your heart, you know. Mm. So mm. I think that if we can really know him better, uh, you know, and f- doing what we can, and also uh, the emphasis the church has put into the four essential, getting deeper, when you get know God, know God, know deeper, and then you know, indeed we can really trust him better. I yeah. think you raised something very mm-hmm. um, important here. Okay. Usually, you can trust somebody if you know somebody. Yeah. Yep. And I think if you get to know God and you know know about His love and His faithfulness, I think it makes it easier to trust. So I think a relationship yeah. with God is definitely needed. Yeah. If not, if you don't have a relationship with God or even the understanding of His Word, it's very hard to trust. Because yes. I can ask you to trust, but if there are no basis for the trust or no, you know, no foundation deep enough for you to just hold on to, <laughs> to, to that trust and that faith when situations get bad, um, I, I yeah. think you really you, you hit a point there, Amos, I, and I think that is something that um, we need to be mindful about. Yeah. Mm. yeah that's why I think this is uh, so powerful. The book of Proverbs, and particularly mm. I think chapter three, mm. it really helps us to to see that, yeah, uh, at the end of the day, the source of wisdom is really God Himself. Mm. Yeah. yeah. As you point out. Yes. Yeah, and I think that's what uh, the the book of Proverbs is really about. Yeah, that that God is wisdom. Yeah, it's so important for us to be able to know God. And then, and mm. as a result, that yeah, we can know how to live wisely. Mm. And as Pastor yeah. Edwin uh, really pointed out, I, I think it's so so important that he pointed out verse eight as well. Yeah, it will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Mm. And this whole idea tied together with wisdom from God and fearing God. Because yeah. sometimes some people will think about, wow, fearing God is like uh, something like wow, mm. it's a very solemn thing. It's a it's like a very religious thing. But actually, it is so much more than all of this. It yeah. is actually the way. To the fullness of life mm. that God wants for us, yeah. I think I remember this quote from uh, Oswald Chambers. I think we have many p- people are familiar, mm. uh, author of the utmost of the of my highest. Yeah, it says this: the remarkable <laughs> thing about God is that when you fear God, you fear nothing else. Uh, whereas if you do not fear God, you fear everything else. I think yeah. just to bring yeah. back to yeah. what yeah. Pastor yes, Edwin yes. said earlier. Amen. Yeah, mm. it remind it reminded me of this uh, particular quote. Mm. Yeah, mm. you know, if you look at this entire chapter. Um, although it talks about wisdom, the benefits of wisdom. If you look at verse 9, interestingly it says here, mm. uh, Honour the Lord with your possession, uh, with the first fruit of all your crops. Mm. And, and for us to be able to honour God with your wealth and mm. the first fruit is also, um, it, it also shows how much you are able to trust the provider. Yes. And also recognising that everything we have is from Him. Mm. And that is also goes back to the relationship with God. That's right. You know, because once you know that He is the provider mm. and that He will take care of all things, then whatever you do, mm. you can really trust this, this Heavenly Father of ours yeah. uh, and not to lean on our own understanding. And, and you know, I mean, look, look at this. And, and at the end of the day, the benefits is not just good health. And it says here in verse 13, Blessed are those who find wisdom and those who gain understanding. So you will be blessed you know, with mm. that, that wisdom that, that God gives us. And, and early on when you talk about, you know, um, who, who God is and you know how we, we talk about who God is and mm-hmm. I, I think verse 19 also speaks of by wisdom the Lord yes. laid the earth's foundation by understanding He set the heavens in place mm-hmm. when we trust God and lean not on our own understanding and mm-hmm. we know the Father's heart uh, for mm-hmm. the entire creation we will realize that having godly wisdom allows us to see a bigger picture of things yeah. yes. Amen. and yes. not just being myopic and mm-hmm. then you know just on yourself yeah. but to know that God created us not only to love him but to love one another amen amen and and i and i yeah. think this is something that when you look at the entire chapter holistically yes. you realize that the father's heart is big 
mm. and it's really, it covers the the whole created order, and not just for you for you know alone, but also for the brothers or sisters next to you. And I think that is something for us to be mindful yeah. as well. This is why you know we cannot let wisdom and understanding out of our sight. If you look at verse twenty one, mm. uh, you know, so that we are able to preserve sound uh, judgment and exercise uh, you know discretion and things like that. So, so at the end of the day, this is not. Uh, I, I feel that Proverbs chapter three <coughs> is not just a hard and fast rule for us to obey. Yeah. It's really for us to find that victory in living a life free from a lot of worries and a lot of things. Yes. If we just trust Him yeah. and know that God knows better. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Any yes. other thoughts? Yeah. I. Yeah. Actually, again, when you point this out, yeah, a lot of things come to my mind now. Mm. Especially, yeah, to read the whole Proverbs, um, uh, in the the full picture of it. Uh, wisdom really has to do with uh, uh, everything in life. Yeah, it's not just how much we know, but mm. how we relate to people, That's how right. we live yes. righteously. As you said, I think the the all the verses uh, 20, 20 to thirty five uh, describe that so mm. clearly. Uh, the Im- amazing thing is 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 this that I think verse nineteen again back to what Pastor Edwin shared. Yeah, is that God in His wisdom created everything. So the world that we are living in is based on the wisdom of God. Yeah. Mm. So can you imagine? Mm. This is like the way God has created it. Mm. Imagine we are able to align to God's wisdom. That's how uh, we were able to live to that fullness. And again, I think the rest of the verses describe how uh, that looks like. But yeah. I think to me, uh, again, it's a reminder that when we talk about someone who is wise, mm. you know, in our world today, it's very easy to say, oh, this person is so successful in his career. He's so like uh, he's mm. earning so much money. He must be really wa- wise. Mm. But I think that um, the book of Proverbs is is like telling us actually the wise person is not just someone who is very successful, who has a lot of achievements or very rich, but someone who is righteous. Yeah, yeah. Someone who knows the Lord and someone who lives righteously, especially in the way we relate to one another. Again, mm. as what Pastor Evan pointed out to us. Yeah. So. I think this is another aspect that I think is important for us mm. to to know, mm. or what it looks like to be wise. Yeah, that I think is about living righteously, uh, with in a sense of in our relationship with God and mm. with one another. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Amos, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, uh, fully agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, I think that the whole uh, aspect about uh, wisdom, right, mm. uh, <clears throat> will come naturally when we have a deeper relationship with God. Mm. And I think the back the fact that God. Uh, give us abundant life. This abundant life is really about where we are mm. on this earth so mm. that uh, when we do what we need to do, uh, you know, uh, all the promises will just flow and He wants the best of us uh, for mm. as, yes. as a believer. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, um, yep. the Lord, His intention is to really bless us and empower us uh, yep. to, to, to live a life um, that is victorious. Mm. And if you look at this entire Proverbs, you know, um, for those of you who are watching this podcast, yeah. go reread it again and let each verse speak to you. Because at the end of it, if you look at the very last verse, right, it says, The wise inherit honor. That's NIV. Mm. But for the New King James Version, it says, The wise shall inherit glory. Amen. See, at the end of the day, uh, the Lord's intention and purpose is to bless His people and to, for us to rise up and, and the glory we get is His glory and the light that we reflect as light of the Amen. world is yeah. His light. And, and if you have the Lord's wisdom, you will also know how to impact the world as His salt in ways that will make sense. Yeah. And I think this is, this is especially critical for us as uh, Christ Methodist Church because our vision is passionate for God loving the community. And we got to do this with godly wisdom. And you cannot do it any other ways. Yeah. Well, because if right. we do it man's way, yeah. I think this church can just uh, wrap up. <laughs> but I, I'm just very thankful that today's mm. reading is just a, a very gentle but mm. firm reminder uh, of the importance of godly wisdom. And to, to trust in the Lord with mm. all of our entire heart being yeah. everything and not yes. lean not on our own understanding. Amen. And in all ways, we acknowledge Him. He shall direct our paths. That's and right. this is our God. Amen. It's beautiful. Amen. Wow. It's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, this will be such a beautiful picture of what our church looked like. Yeah. 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 All right. So, my friends, this wraps up our podcast yeah. for uh, today. I hope that you find our sharing beneficial and something that will encourage you to reread God's word. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, that's all. I don't know whether you got any other parting words, parting thoughts before we sign off. Yeah. Um, keep reading and keep growing in the word together. Yeah as uh, one big family of CMC.
Amen. We is the can. Go deeper. <laughs> All right. So in this season of going deeper, let us continue to go deep uh, into God's word and into our understanding of who our Heavenly Father is. Just trying to understand His heart. Yeah. And I think understanding the Father's heart will really uh, help us posture ourselves as people uh, with a, a deeper level of faith and a deeper level of conviction of who God is. And I pray that everything we do will truly bring Him honour and glory. And it is my heart's desire mm -hmm. that even in the reading of His Word, in, even in the living out of His Word, when people see us, they see Him. Amen. And we just ask Amen. that all glory be unto Him. Mm. All right, so my friends, I hope that this uh, sharing this podcast is beneficial to your own understanding and your own walk. And I pray mm -hmm. that it will truly help us in this season of going deeper in our understanding of the Word and in our understanding of who our Heavenly Father is. And, um, you know, till we meet again, I pray that mm -hmm. we will continue to just dwell in His Word. It's going to lead us in a time of prayer. And I'm just going to pray that this prayer will also encourage all of us to always lean on Him not just uh, for uh, understanding and wisdom but lean on him for strength for direction for wisdom for discernment you know for just guidance this is who our god is and never underestimate the the power of prayer come let us pray father we thank you for your word we thank you lord for showing us what it means um, to be beneficiaries of your wisdom and, and, and I pray that your word, um, when we read it, we do not just be readers of your word, we do not just be hearers of your word, mm -hmm. but we be doers of your word. Mm -hmm. And Father, we pray that this uh, Dwell Bible reading plan will continue mm -hmm. to um, let us have a deeper understanding of what it means to be victorious sons and daughters of yours. So Lord, as we wrap up our podcast for this season, we pray that truly, Lord, your name is lifted high. So Amen. thank you, Father, for being with us and for being with uh, Pastor Siu Chai and Amos and for, you know, for showing us your word in such delightful ways yes. that, Lord, we just want to thank you for allowing us to just find nuggets from, from your treasure, from this book of life that you have given us. Mm -hmm. So, Father, once again, we praise your holy name. We bless your name. We pray all this in, mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus together as God's people. We say, Amen. 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 So friends, this wraps up the final podcast for our season. Till then, we will catch up at the well again another time. Take care. God bless.